Doug with Yaskawa here at AWG in Lexington, and I'm here with Jordan. So he is the robotic welding engineer at AWG, and uh, we're checking out their newest welding cart uh, featuring our HC10 collaborative welder. And uh, so I'm gonna, I've been playing with this all day and it is, it is a blast, uh, but I'm gonna have Jordan take us through some of the details. So Jordan, with that, take it away. Yeah, so first uh, we'd like to go over, this cart is extremely flexible. It has great ease of use and it's extremely durable. And so we're gonna go over some of those facts with you guys today. I think the first most important thing about the ease of use on this is you have six different modes in which you can navigate the robot. You have your smart frame, which lets you control the robot in an up, down, left, right, front, back motion, so you don't have to know what X, Y, Z is. And then we also have our more traditional joint, whirl, tool, and user frames, which all run off that X, Y, Z coordinate system. And then we also have the hand guiding, which lets you control the robot on your own, grab it, move it around. And so that's another great thing that we have about this with the hand guiding is you can do all of your teaching through here. So if you want to use the pendant and you enjoy using those functions, great. If you want to physically move the robot around yourself, it's as easy as pressing the move button here and shifting the robot to wherever position you want it to go. Another great thing that we have when it comes to the ease of use on this is you're able to switch between this pendant and the more traditional pendant if that's what you guys are more comfortable with. Um, with this pendant, you have all of these smart safety controls. Um, it's a great tool and it allows you to kind of fall outside of that realm where you can teach your guys on this if they've never done anything before, or you have more experienced guys that are more comfortable on the other pendant, that's something that they can do as well. Another piece of amazing flexibility for our Cobot cart here is we have two Cobot carts. We have this, which is our more traditional uh, all-inclusive package, which comes with a Feronius 320i. Uh, but we also have a system that allows you to interface with any welding power supply that you have that's manual or automatic. So if you have a Lincoln, you can hook it up to that. We have Miller, you can hook it up to that. It really just comes down to you, your use. So it's a great tool for supplementational labor. If you already have a machine sitting out in your shop that no one's using right now because you haven't found a guy for that work cell, you can put one of these in place and have an operator run it. And, and just to jump in there real quick, because uh, that's really interesting um, characteristic of this cart. And so to be clear, like. The, the robot and the torch, definitely recommend keeping that the same because then, you know, your TCP is all set up. We're all good there. But then at the back, can you quickly, you taught, you showed me how easy it is, you know, from if, if yeah. you're putting up a, a manual welder, um, yeah. how so easy that is to In set your up. case, there are two things that you need to switch out on this. So if you had bought one of our normal Pegasus instead of a Pegasus Elite, uh, it wouldn't come with all this Fronius equipment. It wouldn't come with just the torch here attached and you have the Infinol plug, which is the connector that connects down here. So what you would have to do is remove these two from whatever welding power supply you're using, and you come around the back here, and you would have this system here, and then you have your little Infinol plug, which connects on the back. So then you would just plug those into that system, change out your different uh, adapters. So if you have a Miller, it has a different style wire feed adapter, and those all come with it. And so you'd be able to swap between one to the next. Fantastic. Takes few minutes. Uh, then another you know, thing we want to talk about is the durability. Uh, the reason that we wanted to get such a robust card is we understand that these are industrial applications. Uh, you're going to be welding in dirty, hot shops, things are going to get bumped into, and that's why we went with the Yaskawa Robotics. It's one of the best, most durable robots on the market. It has all entirely sealed drives. And the life of this robot is increasingly long in comparison to some of the other cobots out there. And uh, a, it's one of the major selling points, I think, to this card. Another part that uh, we're really proud of is we have this nitrated top that has a two inch hole pattern. Uh, so it allows you to use a variety of fixed ring devices and it allows you to move parts all around. We have these clamps, they come in three different groups. You can buy a 36, and all the way to like a 72 part assembly piece. And the last thing that we have that I think is a major sending point on ours is that our table is a uh, coated table. It has a powder coated uh, rubberized coating onto it, which is very wear resistant. And we also have these under trays that actually catch all the spatter and all the excess debris. You just wipe it off, put it right back under there and it protects your robot. And lastly, we've got these casters here, which are each rated for about a thousand pounds. 
Uh, when you want to move it around the shop to shop, it's very smooth. And when you don't want it to move, it doesn't move. Important. That's great. And so other things people are, uh, care about support and service, right? And so whether it's the, the welding power supply through AWG or, of course, our uh, Yaskawa 24-hour hotline, you've got that service and support. Um, so thanks for uh, checking us out. Thanks for showing me, Jordan, your, your cart. Um, remember, guys, ease of use, flexibility, and durability in this AWG welding cart with Yaskawa.